So the first reason I chose networks is that everyone encounters them and everyone can understand them. They appear throughout our society and in the way we model science. Like the first network that I think many people have on their minds today is social networks, like Facebook, where what the network describes is who's connected to who. So I think if Facebook is telling me who is friends with who and modeling those connections can be very useful and educational. Um, the other networks that a lot of us encounter every day are traffic or transportation networks and traffic. Streets connect places from one to another. And networks are all about modeling how things are connected. So an individual says, how do I get somewhere? Or who are my friends? But from the more global perspective, we're trying to figure out things like, how do we make it easier for everyone to get where they're going? Or how do we try to control the spread of a disease? Or how do we convince people to get vaccinated? Uh, and think about it as we're now designing systems to help people drive, like GPS systems. If I were trying to make the best decisions for everybody and get everyone the fastest route possible to where they want to go, I would have them go routes that might not be the best for any particular individual. You know, sometimes you try to connect to a web page and the data doesn't come. That's because some router along the way decided to stop sending information. And that's okay. You'll then look somewhere else and come back to that later. Humans do the same thing, right? I get too many people sending me emails. I will just stop answering some because I only have 24 hours in a day. It's a problem that sort of solves itself. And with humans, you see this as being sort of obnoxious behavior. But it's actually also the reason the internet works. And the main way that I study networks is by imagining that they are actual physical objects. So I think of the connections in a network often as being things like springs or rubber bands connected at nodes. So meaning a person in a social network is a point of connection and their friends are connected to them by springs. And then by trying to understand how this physical system behaves, we get some understanding of the structure of the network. And this is the start of a lot of how network analysis goes. And I find it incredibly useful because networks really are abstract mathematical things. I don't think I understand them. I do think I understand some basic things about physics, say how springs and rubber bands behave, and many other people have concrete physical experiences. We can then leverage that intuition to help us understand networks.